All right, gonna talk real quick about the head tag because we haven't paid much attention to it and it's pretty important. Like I said here, it's where you put uh, general information about your page. Uh, first one I wanna talk about, first tag that goes in there is the title. This will become the title of your page, not what you see rendered, but the title that you see like this in the, um, the top of the, the tab inside the browser. If you don't add it, it'll just say the name of the file, which sucks, you don't want that, so make sure you add a good title. Meta tag is for adding meta information uh, for search engines. Meta tags have name attributes and they have content attributes. Uh, if the name is description, then the content becomes the description of your page when Google displays it in the search results like this. If the name is keywords, the content will become the keywords that are relevant to your content and to your brand. Uh, here are some of Color Code's meta uh, keywords. You can see I, I went kind of crazy there. There's an awesome meta tag called Viewport. Uh, this tells the browser how to scale the page for different devices, device sizes, uh, and different viewports. Responsive web design coming up soon. W3 Schools has a good example, so I'm just gonna use that one. Uh, here's a page without the viewport tag, and here's one with it. You can see it makes a big difference. Uh, here's also the full uh, meta tag that solves the problem. So you don't need to remember it. Just know that it's there and you, you have access to it. Just remember these things change all the time, but at the moment that I'm recording this, this is what we use. There are other meta tags as well, of course, but these are the most uh, common ones that I've used personally. Other tags you include a style you can add to bring in CSS inside your, your page. We'll talk about CSS a lot soon. Uh, link and script will let you load other files like JavaScript into your HTML to do more awesome things. So you can see none of these tags add any content to your page. They don't show up inside the browser, but they are just as important for the final product. So that's a little bit about HTML tags. I hinted at CSS a couple of times already. We're almost ready for it, but first HTML identifiers, AKA CSS selectors.